Welcome to BC24 Might Break Your API Integrations. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, BC24 is rolling out. Uh, people are getting upgraded now, and um, it's, it's, it's a cool version. Uh, you know, with all the co-pilot stuff and that, but there is a nasty surprise, and that one is hitting a lot of people right now. Um, and a lot of them are c contacting me, uh, so... Here's my take. Um, this is about APIs. Um, and Microsoft has defaulted, changed the default. So uh, up if you did not specify a version of the API, now I'll, I'll show that in a second. Uh, they will up until and in, including BC23, it was defaulting to, to one set of behavior. And in BC24, it's defaulting to a different behavior. And um, that might have some, some issues, uh, is specifically when it comes to option fields or enums. Um, like, you know, the line type on a, on a sales line, if this is an account or an item, or or in, in general journal, or lots of places where we have uh, option fields where you can select something. Um, let, let me show you what act, what's actually happening, and then we can discuss quickly um, what we can do. So here is, maybe I should start, I'll start here. I have created a uh, an API page, a super simple API page in this case, <laughs> It's actually called sales header, but it, uh, it it gives you sales lines because there were more enums on the on the sales line, and I never changed the name. So it's it's just a very simple API that will give you a bunch of fields. Um, and I have deployed this the exact same app to a BC twenty three and a BC twenty four. Um, and here is you can see the uh, the reply from a BC twenty three, VAT calculation type, sales space tax, uh, prepayment VAT calculation type, normal VAT, uh, quote, you name it. Um, item. Let's see if there's something other than. It really doesn't matter. The you can you can see this looks as expected we have some, some a blank one uh, and the, well this looks like it had looked for for a long time if we do the exact same thing in bc24 this is how it looks now so if you see the difference uh for some reason subtype is still blank that's actually quite interesting that's because probably because that is actually an so what is subtype? Is that an option and the other are enums? Uh, we can go take a look, especially if I hit the right key. So that's an option uh, where something like this is an enum. So the options survive this, but even so you can see here space is now underscore x zero zero two zero underscore which is a, a unicode uh, encoding for for sales tax so what it's actually giving here you here is no longer the actual text from before so if you go back and look at the vht calculation type look at this enum um if there you go um then we would normally we will get this text, but now we're getting this one, which is the name of the option encoded. Um, so this is the default and, and blank. You see, there's just a space. And if you have something with a slash, you'll get another number because that's just a character. So anything that's not a, a seven bit uh, English character will get encoded. Um, and and right now this breaks people's stuff because on Friday your API returned this on Monday 
after upgrade to 24, the same API returned this. So we can get this to work because if I go up in the URL here and then I say uh, question mark and then I add dollar schema version equal 1.0. Now this one is back to uh, to I, I, don't, I can't even say if this is back to version one. I, I was about to say back to normal, but but there might be a, a disagreement on the definition of normal here. Um, at least back to how it used to be, uh, and the same thing. So I could say two point oh here. Uh, and then I get this, and I do believe if, if I go back to BC23 and I ask this one to give me the 2.0, then I get the spaces uh, encoded. Then, then I get the enums encoded. Um, I, I, I'm not sure. Microsoft truly understand the impacts of this. Uh, uh, I'm not sure I understand the impact. I can see the amount of people who have contacted me and telling that that something is broken now uh, and it's somehow my fault. No, that's not what they're saying. They're asking what, what's happening and I explain what, what's happening. Um, I. I think there certainly there is a case for getting enums as the unique identifying value instead of uh, instead of the caption. But I I feel, and this is my very personal opinion, is that those people who actually want the encoded uh, want this value instead of that one, uh, they could probably figure out to add something to the URL where the people who suddenly get this and still wants the other one might have a way harder time figuring something up here. Uh, so I think we're putting the, 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 the burden of complexity on the, on the wrong set of users, uh, so to speak. Anyway, now you know that when your, your API is suddenly returning something new, uh, this is the reason, and uh, there actually, I'm going to show you two things just to be clear, uh, because none of this is a surprise. Shouldn't be, because if you have read every single page on on Learn Microsoft, you would have found that there's a page called transitioning from API version one to API version two, and down here at the bottom, it's fully documented that this is this is happening. Um, and if we look at the uh, deprecated features list uh, for Business Central, schema version for custom APIs, change default, um, then it's clearly documented here also. So the the problem is that every for everyone that gets upgraded over the weekend over the weekend they they might not have read all the documentation. Uh, I sure I, I probably read it at some point and then I forgot about it again. Uh, so um, hey, this is uh, that's this week's uh, public info service from uh, from me. So if you want to get back to the, the regular scheduled uh, AL hacking, check out this video. It's a good one. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.